It is time once again to inspect the flow hive. The bees have moved into the upper box in the flow frames. They have prepped the cells for storage, but they haven't begun filling them yet. It has also been about three weeks since I inspected this hive, so I know I will have to do some maintenance here. The boxes are stuck together with a lot of propolis, so much so that I can't open the boxes with my brute strength alone. I have to use two hive tools to break the propolis seal and also pry the boxes apart. The queen excluder has been braced with wax, so this is an indication that the rest of the boxes will also be braced with extra comb. The bees have built brace comb between the upper frames and the lower frames. These bees are prolific builders, and if I don't check and clean them regularly, they will build comb wherever they find space. This causes problems for me because the frames are essentially glued together, and the only way to take them out is to break the brace comb apart. On this frame we can see a strong brood pattern, as well as good honey storage. This single frame is a small representation of the entire hive. The frames seem to alternate between being completely covered in honey or completely covered in brood. It is a very, very good colony that I want to do all I can to help survive. The workers work and the queen makes brood. They all know their jobs and they do them well. They are also defensive if they are threatened. As you can see, I was stung. You can also see that this sting is on the back of my hand, so we know that this was an attack, not because of a squish. The alarm pheromone went out because I was careless, and one of the girls let me know I had done something wrong. In fact, I was stung three times this day. Once the one sting was in and the pheromone was out, I was a target. Some have asked me why I don't wear gloves, and the answer to me is simple. When I wear gloves, I kill bees. I work with a false sense of security, I rush, and I harm the insects I am trying to protect. Without gloves, I am more careful. I can feel my way around the bees, and I am able to keep more bees alive. I am willing to suffer some pain from time to time if I can better help the bees. I also need to test for Varroa mites. It is late in the summer and this is Varroa season, if any season can be called that. I have selected a frame that has sealed brood as well as recently emerged brood. This kind of frame has the highest chance of showing an accurate mite count. The bees fall into the cup by running the cup down the frame and the bees roll in. Unfortunately, an alcohol bath awaits them, which kills them and any mites they carry almost instantly. A couple minutes of swift shaking releases the mites from the bees and they float to the bottom for easy counting. 
This test revealed that I had seven mites out of 300, which is an unacceptable mite count. Treatment is needed and must be applied now in order to save the colony. It is hot where I live, so the treatments that are temperature sensitive are not going to work. I also don't want to use a vapor to treat since it has to be done several times to be effective and can harm me or anyone nearby with the fumes. Because of this, I opted for Apivar strips. I will leave these in the hive for 42 days in order to reach hatched and unemerged mites and will then remove them before the autumn nectar flow. Thank you everyone for watching my adventures in beekeeping. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I read and respond to them all. Please remember to click the subscribe button in order to view all of my future updates. I will be expanding my new hive soon. You don't want to miss any of that. Thanks again.